job market? Listen, cousin it, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, they're outsourcing jobs to closet monsters. Can you believe that? My friends have to go to India to go scare people, or they lose their jobs to Indians or Mexicans. Why can't we work here? The closets are here. We originated here. That's bullshit. Outsourcing our jobs. I've never seen such a thing. It's absurd. So, well, it's been nice talking to you, but, uh, Race over, and I gotta go to work. He did the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash. He did the map. Heidi Ho, fans of Fright, and welcome to the 31 Nights of Fright. Alright, let's get this thing started. First of all, I have a. This is just for a couple announcements. Um, this video is gonna be about haunted photos, should I say, or spirit orbs, or catching spirits in photos, and all that creepy stuff, you know? I had, about a year ago from when this video was being made, uh, went to Key West and went on the haunted um, ghost tours and of course I took a bunch of pictures in hopes of seeing stuff and the tour lady said that you know she had noticed some stuff on the pictures and you can take it as you want, take it as camera dust, take it as them selling me bullshit, take it as a ghost being caught on camera or energy or orbs or really whatever the hell you want. I mean I'm not labeling this as nothing okay so you determine what you want to determine. I did see some interesting stuff there, and I also did see some things that I found a little bit intriguing in the photos if you look at them long enough, but I wouldn't label them as anything big or important, but um, you be the judge and check them out. I hope skeptics and believers could take something from those pictures. If not, well, what do you want? It's a ghost tour. Um, before I end this video, I do want to send a little message about the following videos, probably the next nine or ten, maybe. I've gotten permission from one of my favorite authors, a horror author, who is like the UK version of Stephen King. His name is Mike Bennett. I've have, I have his permission to take one of his stories called Salvation and incorporate it to 31 Nights of Fright. He's part of the features that I mentioned in the trailer. And trust me, you will enjoy 
this story. You have my word. If you don't enjoy this story, then you've got to be insane. I'm going to break it down into 10-minute um, segments because the story is kind of long. Thus, I have to cut down the intros for the 31 Nights of Fright and make them shorter. But after that, like after the story is done, they'll be back to normal. But for now, it's like it's going to be shorter. And this is going to be an audio story. It'll have like one picture running through the whole entire thing. And it's basically to hear. So you're going to have to sit back, close your eyes, and just go to Imagination Land and let him take you. Because I'm telling you, he is an amazing, amazing author. And his storytelling ability is just off the roof. And if you're one of those people that's like, I don't want to hear stories. Well, I'm sorry. Skip the following nine or ten episodes. And then tune in when all the crazy hilarity ensues. Uh, until then, catch you later.